Hey guys, welcome back to the Red Peak Media channel. My name is Kelvin Krupiak, and today I'm gonna give you guys a complete and in-depth guide to Facebook's Pixel. Now I'm actually making this video because I received a few emails this week asking me exactly what the Facebook Pixel is and how to set it up. So to start this off, the Facebook Pixel itself is essentially a small snippet of HTML code that you get from within the Facebook Ads Manager. Once you've generated that code, you're gonna take it and place it within the header of every page on your website. That's going to allow Facebook to communicate with your website directly and monitor activity. So if you send a thousand people back to your website from a paid ad campaign, all of those people are gonna be tracked via your Facebook Pixel. Or let's say you have people browsing your site organically. If those people are recognized as having a Facebook profile, Facebook's going to log that activity. And after you've built up a certain size of an audience, you can then use that to target people directly through Facebook advertising, which is essentially going into retargeting, which is another video entirely, but a very useful ad strategy. Now, why exactly do you wanna have this Pixel on your site? Because it allows you to take advantage of some of the warmest possible leads available to you. Especially if you're in something like e-commerce, you wanna be retargeting people who landed on the purchase page of a specific product, but just didn't quite finish the order. So to wrap the whole why section up, essentially the Facebook Pixel allows you to reach and target a very specific segment of people. They're gonna be more valuable to you and your business. Now let's go ahead and hop into the Facebook Ads Manager and set up our Pixel. All right, guys, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you've made your way to the Ads Manager in Facebook. If you don't know how to get there, usually it's gonna be in the top right-hand corner. You'll see an arrow with a drop-down, and if you scroll on down to Manage Ads, that's gonna take you into your Ads Manager. If you've never accessed your Ads Manager before, you're gonna to have to walk through the process of getting everything set up. And once you've done so, the first thing you're really gonna to wanna to do is create your Pixel, because as soon as you've got your website up and running, you wanna be able to track people who are going back to your website, all the posts that you're putting up on your business page or sending out via email, you want to track the people who are heading back to your website so you can retarget those people later down the line with your Facebook ads. So now what we're going to do now that we're in a blank ad account is we're going to go to the top left hand corner and we're going to select pixels. And that should take you to a screen like this, create a Facebook pixel where Facebook essentially walks you through the process and kind of explain what the pixel does for you. So let's go ahead and click on create a pixel. And here we go, Facebook's gonna start walking you through the process. Now we're gonna name this. I traditionally name my pixel based on the website that it's gonna be on. So my pixel for Red Peak Media is Red Peak Media website or just Red Peak Media. So name it so that you're very clear on exactly where the pixel's at, especially if you're managing multiple websites. Having it named the specific website it's gonna be placed on is gonna save you a lot of headaches down the line. So for now, we'll just do Kelvin Krupiak's pixel and create. And there we go. So Facebook's gonna go ahead and walk through the process of creating and publishing the pixel for me. But we are not done yet. So we've created the pixel and we still have to place that pixel on our website. So now what we're gonna do is manually install the code yourself. If you're using something like Shopify or an e-commerce site, you're gonna have to install an app. So if any of you guys watching this are wondering how to get the pixel set up on an e-commerce site, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to make a video about that as well. But for right now, we're gonna do manually install the code yourself. I just think this is the easiest thing to do. And there we go. So again, you can see Facebook's gonna do their very best to try and walk us through the process. And the first thing on its checklist here is for us to locate the header section on our website because the pixel code is gonna have to be placed within the header tags on every page of your website. And again, I'm gonna show you a plugin that's gonna help make that easy. We'll get there in just a second. So let's scroll on down a little further and right here is your actual pixel code. And if we hover over this, you can see I can copy this to my clipboard. There we go. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is head on back to our website, place this in the header tags, and go ahead and start sending some traffic that way and start confirming that the pixel is actually firing. Now finally, if you scroll on down a little further, you can see the third step here, send test traffic to your pixel. If you enter the URL of your website after you've installed the pixel code, Facebook's gonna send test traffic to help activate that pixel and make sure everything is firing correctly. Also, if you are working with a developer and you want them to set up your pixel for you, it's really easy to do. All you gotta do is email them the instructions and they should have no problem installing this within the head tag throughout your website. Now then, we've made sure we copied our pixel code. Let's go ahead and move on forward. And here we go. So now we're gonna be in the events section. So Facebook wants to give you the option to track specific events on your website because that is very helpful, very useful. But for right now, if this is your first time accessing the Facebook Pixel, I would highly suggest that you just leave it alone. You can always go back and add events later down the line. That's really easy to do. And I've got another video planned to show you exactly how to do that. So we're gonna go on down and we're gonna go ahead and hit done. Now let's make our way over to our website and make sure we've got that Pixel code installed correctly. 
So here we are in the WordPress dashboard of Red Peak Media. Now I use Divi to build my website just because I'm a fan of visually building sites. If you are using Divi, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the bottom left corner. You'll see Divi, you'll go to theme options, and then you're gonna make your way over to integration. And you'll scroll on down. And again, make sure we're placing it in the header section of our website. The body section down here that says good for tracking codes, such as Google Analytics, could be a little confusing because this is a tracking code, but we want to take it and put it in the head section. So let's expand this a bit. And you can see I have my Facebook pixel right here. So we're good to go. Go ahead and scroll on down and hit save changes. Now, if you're not on Divi, but you're on WordPress using pretty much any other theme, what I would suggest you do is install the plugin Pixel Your Site. So make your way up to plugins and go ahead and select that. And then if we go to add new, you can do a quick search. There we go. On the far right hand side, we have Pixel Your Site. So this is the plugin you're going to want to use. It makes it extremely easy to get the pixel up on your website and it makes it really easy to track events. So now let's go ahead and make our way over to the plugin itself. So you guys saw me copy and paste the entire code in the head section of the Divi theme options. If you're not using Divi and you are using Pixel Your Site, all you have to do is make sure that your Pixel ID is copy and pasted right in here. Now where exactly was the Pixel ID within that snippet of code? Let's head on back to Facebook and I'll show you where that is. Here we are back where we would copy the code that we were going to paste into our website. If you see right here, you'll see FBQINIT and that number right there it's highlighted by the blue right now, so hopefully you guys can see it okay. But that number is the pixel ID. That's what you would want to copy into the Pixel Your Site plugin. And once we've done that, we want to make sure we've selected head right here for output pixel code 2. And then if we scroll on down a little further, you can see you have the option to start enabling general events. And if you scroll on down further, you can see you have even more options available to you. We're not going to cover any of this in this video, but again, if you guys want to see another video detailing event codes, then definitely leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to make that video happen. For those of you who are curious though about the event code, you do have that tab right up here under events. If you guys wanna head on over to that section and start learning a little more about that, definitely head on over to this section and start getting familiar with the setup in general for custom events. Now, the last thing I wanna show you guys is the Facebook Pixel Helper. And this tool is gonna to make it very easy for you to confirm that your pixel is set up correctly or that your custom events have been set up correctly. It's just gonna save you a lot of time. So let's head on over to the homepage of Red Peak Media. All right, now in the top right hand corner, you can see this blue icon here with the number two. And if you click on that, that's gonna say right here, my pixel is active and we've got page view and micro data that we can track from this specific page. If you add a custom event, you're gonna see that appear here as well. Now, it's important to also note that I am using Chrome. You can only use this tool if you're in a Chrome browser. This is not available on Safari, Internet Explorer, or Firefox or any other browser. So what we have to do is make our way over to the Chrome web store. And here we go. So here's the Facebook Pixel Helper. What you're gonna wanna do is add this to Chrome and then you're good to go, guys. And again, this is just gonna save you a lot of time in the future. It's gonna identify whenever there's an error that needs to be resolved or just confirm for you that the Pixel is set up correctly and firing back to Facebook how it should be. And that's basically all there is to it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do leave a like right down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon when you do subscribe so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. And as always, guys, if you have any additional questions, please feel free to leave a comment right down below or feel free to email me directly. I always leave my email right down below in the description so you guys can email me night or day anytime with a question and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.